Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. We are going to be doing the daily scripture writing for day 23. I cannot believe two more days is Christmas. So day 23 is going to be, let's move it over, Exodus 14, 14. But let's go back to that page. And I did go ahead and tab out December, green for Christmas, blue for January for, like, snow and stuff. I don't know, like, I don't know, I see a lot of blue snowflakes and stuff. Okay, um, not that there is blue snowflakes, so, so, let's not run with that. So, for December, reading, writing, praying, and reflecting on peace is the word. I think in January, I'm going to pick a word for the year and how like people picked her one word of the year and it's going to be that word like peace or something in that line so what is our I haven't even marked it I haven't did it on here yet so I couldn't even tell you it's in my other book so yeah read write pray and reflect and we're focused on peace. Or maybe a word of the month. Because I see a lot of people do word of the year. Maybe word of the month. I was going to say, here's an example of blue ones. And they're gold and pencils. Alright, so. Scripture, observation, application, and prayer. We should now be on God's peace in the new year. If I'm not mistaken, so it's 10, 16, 25. I don't know, that's three. No, it's a five day devotional. A three day devotional with Matthew West, five day devotional. That's how it's written. So we're still in here. We need Christmas. A three day devotional with Matthew West, which is a five day devotional. I don't know how that worked out, but yeah. So it's on the U version app. Hopefully, I did it correctly. So, Exodus. Again, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell and give it victims up. I'm kind of liking this pen. It is the on point ballpoint 1.0. Exodus 1414. 14. We have the NIV version in front of us. I still have to do this video of. The, um, the cover, so you've seen it before, it's just I'm using it more now. So let's see verse 14 right here. I already wrote peace, verse 14, 14, 12, 23. My three looks crazy, and when I write small, like I really could write small, but when I write big, I could really write big. So the Lord will fight for you, you need only to be still. Let's say it again. The Lord will fight for you. You you need only to be still. So let's go ahead and write that. So today is the 23rd. So we are caught up. Um, I was only missing one day, which was the 22nd. Oh, I was doing that. Oh, the pen. I was like, why is my paper bouncing back and forth? So how is your scripture writing? How are you doing? And how is your Christmas shopping coming along? I am done. My daughter gets her last piece tomorrow. She already knows about it, so that's why I didn't wrap it. And then um, I still have one, two, I think maybe at the most three gifts to wrap but I have a whole box behind me that's already been wrapped let's read it from here because we never read it anymore from the book the Lord will fight for you you need only to be still love that love that for us
Okay, so now that we have our observation written in, this again is the NIV version from Walmart. So let's go ahead and read She Reads Truth. So we're looking for 14. So here's verse 14. Exodus 14 and then 14 is on the bottom. Like way on the bottom. The Lord will fight for you and you must be quiet. So the difference is you must be still. You must be quiet. So let's say it again. The Lord will fight for you and you, and you must be quiet. So... Which is, you know, we need to start being quiet. We need to just let it go, like, let let go, let God, basically. Let go and let God. So, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Again, it's a short video. Um, please subscribe if you haven't did so already. And if you can give a comment... That'd be great. I appreciate it. I would love to hear your comments. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.